What is there to say? What is there to say about this performance? What is there to say about tonight? I'll just start off by saying this. I feel like we've been seeing this kind of performance way too much lately. This is the sixth time this year that the Yankees have given up 10 runs in a game. And we're not even at the All-Star break yet. That feels a little too high for me, especially for a World Series caliber organization or whatever the hell this is. The Yankees, I can't believe they beat the Orioles twice. That's my other takeaway from this. We beat the Orioles twice in this series, and I am shocked we did that. We scored six runs in game one. We scored eight in game two. We came back both of those games. Well, the first game was a comeback. Second game, Euros tied the game, and then we were able to rally late to win it. And we had a lead in game three, and it has all gone to crap since then. The Orioles have scored, since the sixth inning of game three, they have scored 19 runs, and I'm recording this on the top of the eighth because I have given up. I, I, I had to come down here and record the rant when I saw DJ, of all people, finally get a hit. And what happens immediately after that, I can't grant to do a double play. That's this game. That's this season in a nutshell. I re- I was actually starting to believe in this team after the first two games, which just proves how much of a dunce I am that I actually started to believe that this team would change. This team, without judge, could actually do something. But no, I mean, it's bad. It, you know it's bad when Talking Jake from John Boy and Jake said that this is the worst offense in baseball without Aaron Judge. That is saying something from him. This is the guy who essentially works for the Yankees. And for him to say that, that is brutal. And I would not, argue, what Yankee fan would argue at this point? This is an atrocious lineup. But you know what? I can't blame the offense for tonight. It was not the offensive ball, even though the offense went to crap. And boy, this was so disappointing that on the night where Anthony Volpe returned to the leadoff spot, the Yankees totally suck. And it's not Volpe's fault. But just when we're all ready to believe that Volpe can, he's back to the leadoff spot, he can turn it around, right back to crap. Amazingly, DJ had a better night. <laughs> what a weird, weird night this was. But all right, Sevy, that's the main focus of tonight's game. I'm ready to see this guy out of pinstripes. I'm ready to see this man gone. Thank you, Sevy, for all the great memories you had, for all the great performances, coming back year after year, being a truly great pitcher for us whenever you got out there. But it's over. It's over. It, it, this should be Luis Severino's final start as a Bronx Bauer. This will not be because I don't know who else thinks he's going to get, but it, it, in all, for all intents and purposes, it should be. His last, let me get, show you his last seven starts in terms of runs given up. Seven, four, five, three, Zero in a miracle against the Rangers. Seven. And then today, he gives up seven. Yet again, and ten hits. He gives up ten hits before the third inning. He's done. He's done. I don't know if he's if he's not hurt, then he needs to go. And if he is hurt, then it's a contract year. So, you know what, maybe it's a sign that, he need, that we need to move on. Because we obviously, if he's hurt, it's just a steady way. Always getting hurt. We can't trust this guy long term. So it's time for the Yankees to come back again. Thank you, Sebi, for all the great moments, but it's over. It's done. Okay, it's time to move on. You just couldn't stay healthy, and it's time. it doesn't seem like he's particularly enamored with the Yankees anymore. It just seemed the perfect time to just part ways, okay? Thank you for 2017, 2018, where you won two All-Star appearances. Thank you. Third in the Cy Young in 2017, thank you. But 2019, 2020, 2021, 2023, yeah, and you, you, you were injured last year as well. It's time. It's time to move on. Thank you again, and we're sorry that you, you couldn't live up to the expectations in 2017-18, but it's over. But, God, he was awful tonight. Just giving up absolute meatballs. And starting with giving up two home runs to Henderson. Or, excuse, excuse me, to, um, yeah, Henderson. Giving up doubles to Ahern and Mullins and Westbrook. And this is a good Orioles team. You know, that's why we all thought this heading into the series, the Orioles were going to be were gonna be this handily because they're a much better team. But to see this kind of beat down, this this really just makes you sad. And, and the other thing, why do we not have a left fielder? Why is IKF in a left field? God damn it, he's making the most terrible routes on balls. Why is this man still the left fielder? For a championship caliber organization, which I'm going to keep using that all year, why is it that IKF is starting in left? How can you say this is a championship game and IKF starting in left? It's it's disgraceful. It is disgraceful the Yankees keep putting this guy out there. 
Can we put actual outfielders for the outfield? How hard is that? How difficult is that? Every other team in baseball is able to do it. Why not the Yankees? Why, do, why does Brian Cashman think he's so much smarter than everybody else putting infielders in, out, in the outfield? How does he still have this job? How is this team 48 and 40? This should be the worst team in baseball, the way we've watched them over the last weeks. How are they 48 and 40? I know why, because they're in charge. But they seem so inept on so many nights, whether it's the offense, whether it's the pitching, whether it's the fielding. There's so many nights where they just look absolutely trash. We had another terrible moment tonight where Trevino couldn't even catch a pop-up in the bottom of the fifth inning. It's just so many. It just The ball fell between Trevino and DJ in the bottom of the fifth. There's just so many awful moments. So many horrendously... Bad moments for this team. At one point, the Orioles got 13 of the 17 bases, uh, 17 batters reached safely, and 11 scored. Severino has allowed 40 runs in nine starts. That's more than he gave up last year in 19 starts. And I don't care who this position player is, but I, I just know that we're gonna have another night where oh great, we gotta put a position player in. It's not fun anymore. It was fun the first time when I kept it. It's not fun anymore. Now it's just sad and pathetic. It's like a guy wearing his high school varsity jacket at age 39. It's, it's, it's no longer cute. It's disgusting and deplorable. Cannot believe this. Why, I can't even the third baseman. Why is he playing in left? You have Glaber missing the ball. Just uncompetitive from minute one in this game. And it is sad. It's sad to watch this. I'm happy we got the first two wins against the Orioles. That was great. And especially game one, that was one of the best wins of the season. But this is how you respond after that. Two stingers in a row. You blow game three. Bullpen gives it up. And then Severino just stinks from the third inning and third and fourth inning. And, and oh my gosh. And now we split the series. I just cannot believe it. And nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change, which makes this more frustrating. The only thing that can change is guys getting healthy is Judge coming back. That's it. And Judge was making progress today, but it's not going to be enough. By the time Judge is back, this team will be done. This team will be out of contention. Orioles just scored another run, by the way. It's 14 nothing. Not watching this game right now. I'm downstairs trying to take my mind off. I told myself I wasn't going to rant tonight because I'm, I'm more, like, upset than angry anymore. I can't get angry anymore. I used to get a lot angry when I was younger. Now I'm like, I don't care. Like, I, I, I just... I, I, this team has beaten me down so much. This team has taken all the joy out of me that it's hard for me to get angry anymore. But, I guess I found it here. What a... Crappy, crappy performance. And another another garbage night from Donaldson. I mean, at least the top of the lineup got hits tonight as opposed to last night. You know, Torres got hit, Bader got, Rizzo got hit, Bader got hit. That was different than last night. Pretty much, it showed something at the top of the lineup. Thank you for that. But God, what a, what a garbage performance. What an awful performance by Severino as he continues to just show why he should not be on this team. And yeah, I can't really kill the offense too much. Even though I, I've tried, I have killed the offense in this video. And yeah, it's hypocritical. And you want to whip me in the comments, go ahead. But you know what? I'm frustrated everybody right now. I'm frustrated how this team, I'm frustrated that we were hoping for a championship, you know, run this year. And we've disappointed so badly. We are so far out of it right now. We're, we're back to eight games out of the American League East. And if Toronto wins tonight, we are tied for them for the final spot in the wild card. And now it is danger territory. Now we are getting into really dangerous spots here. If we're tied for, with Toronto. And they're, they're down 3-1 right now. But if they can come back, it's scary because there's nobody coming right now that can fix the team. Judge is not going to be back for a while. There's nobody right now that can come. And they're not going to trade for anybody. Soto's not coming here. They're not going to trade for anybody. They're not going to make any moves. Nothing is going to happen that's going to turn this team around. So we just got to sit here and wallow in our own filth for the rest of the year. Maybe Cash will do something at the deadline, but I doubt it. He'll just probably tell us where everything's great. Gunnar Henderson has four hits tonight. <laughs> Six at-bats. What a garbage performance. Absolutely disgusting. I know what I'm going to do. Taylor Swift's Speak Now album is being re-released tonight. I'm going to listen to that. And for anybody out there who wants to rip me and criticize me, look, it's what makes me happy. And I suggest to all you Yankee fans out there, you find something tonight that makes you happy. Me is listening to The Goddess perform and re her beautiful album again. Her re-released album. Her, her album. Taylor's version. That's what makes me happy. You find something that makes you happy. Whether it's going out, playing video games, going on a date, I know it's late for that, but whatever. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Because this team is not providing you any happiness right now. None. Bye.